Today we're going to look at how to use Jam Kazam. To start off, we're going to take a look at our router and some of the settings we need to do there. Okay, first in the router, every router is different, but you want to look for port forwarding, port triggering, usually found under an ad advanced tab and advanced setup. In here, what we're going to do is choose port forwarding because we want to forward to uh, from Jamkazam to our computer that we're using. And you see there's no UDP and we really want to use UDP, which is different a little bit from FTP. So what we're going to do is do a custom service and we'll name that service Jam Kazam. Jam Kazam. And we can actually choose UDP directly, so we're going to select that here. Jam Kazam recommends using port 12,000 and above, and about 10 ports. So we're going to do 12,000 to 12,010. And also, we're going to use that same port range for the internal, so we're going to leave this checked. And then we're actually going to choose which computer we're going to do. So that's what we're going to choose for it. And then we're going to hit apply. And there we can see our service, which is still showing FTP, um, but it's in the same range uh, for Jam Kazam is 12,000 to 12,010 on both external and internal on my IP address. This way, any traffic coming from Jam Kazam on those ports are going to go directly to my PC. From here, we'll take a look at Jam Kazam directly. Now, for Jam Kazam, we have this home screen. Once you log in, you get this home screen, and then this section here, which has your friends, any chats, and notifications for upcoming sessions that might be happening. Okay, in Jam Kazam here, what we need to do is check under Manage. And under Manage, we want to look at networking, IP protocol, and we want this to be only on IPv4, not v6. Jam Kazam recommends using port 12,000 and above, and about 10 ports. And other settings we're going to look at later as under Audio Booster. We're going to take a look at this and set these to the lowest rates so we have the maximum throughput on our network and our audio frame size once our audio interface is set up. And as far as webcams go, if you enable this video, you will be able to see everyone within the session. We have found that enabling the video actually causes the latency and jitter in session to actually be worse. So now we want to take a look at our user profile here, but if you see, we can't open up the menu system under the arrow until we open this blue area up. So under there, we have all these identification things now that you can set up separately. But right now, we're going to look at audio gear. And as you can see, it's looking for our devices that we have on our computer. And once it's all set, we're going to click on Add New Gear and click on Next. It's scanning to see what we have in there. And when this comes up, we're going to choose our ASIO device right now. In this case, we're going to work with the Allen Heath QU series, but choose the ASIO driver because it works much better than the WDM Windows driver, which causes problems at lower uh, latencies. So we'll click on that. It's going to check our latency. Do a quick test with that, and then it's going to come back and we'll be able to choose which inputs we do. We're going to deselect any inputs that we don't need uh, because it will give us a better uh, latency and timing if we don't have these extra inputs going if we're not going to be using them. Once we're done with that, we're going to go over to the output, and it's already set as the same, but I like to actually choose the actual ASIO output device. And I'm going to select it here. 
Again, that's going to be the QU series ASIO device. And now it's checking latency against all of those as well. And as you can see, you can change the sample rate if you wanted to, but our equipment is actually just running at 48K anyway, so we're just going to leave that as is. And also before we hit next and move on to the next steps, you'll notice that after that last latency check and switching to the audio outputs, it has re-enabled all our audio inputs on our device. So we're going to go in and uncheck those to help the latency be as little as possible. We will leave our inputs of 1, 2, 3 enabled because we'll be using those for our session. Now we hit next and we can see our audio input. We're actually going to add one more track in and that track will be for our actual instrument. And what we want to do is click here to add track three because that's the one I know I'm working with. And it's all set. We're going to click this to continue. We see our two tracks now. Click next. And we're going to leave these settings as default because we're going to talk to our music mic anyways. Hit play. And I can see it coming back in our playback channel. So we're good there. And then we click next. And then we're done with that. From here, we can move on to clicking our home button at the top here. And that'll bring us back to the home page. And we can minimize our screen of participants. And now we're going to click on create to create a session. And as you can see over on the right, even though these are creating, if someone invites you to join a session, they'll pop up in this notification area on the right. Let's go ahead and start a session. We'll start a solo session. And this one automatically goes live and just shows yourself in there. You would have to add others in if you wanted them to join in. And you can see our two tracks here. And you can see the latency and jitter if you hover over the green dot. We usually mute this track on the top and that way it won't fold back into the mix that everyone else is hearing but you will hear it. And then the bottom one is your mic for playing out. Generally, I keep that at all the way down to the bottom because I don't need to hear myself all that much. You can certainly adjust it to your desirable level for yourself. Now, if you want to see how others are looking, this green dot here will show you yours and it shows the jitter and the latency of your device. And when others join in, they will be listed under this middle section here, and we'll have that same dot, whether it's green, yellow, or red, and indicate a lot more information on exactly where the latency and jitter is happening. You can also click the resync button towards the top right, and that will just resynchronize your session with everyone else's session at times it'll actually help everyone resync and make the session a lot smoother again on the latency and jitter side. For checking additional items, we're going to go at the manage at the top left and we're going to go to audio boost as we spoke of before. And we're going to set those settings now that our audio device is connected to our lowest settings for the bit rates and also change the audio frame rate down to one millisecond experimental. These settings will help create a faster session for latency. And as far as webcams go, if you enable this video, you will be able to see everyone within the session. We have found that enabling the video actually causes the latency and jitter in session to actually be worse. And we're going to create a new session. We're going to choose the bottom one. And we're going to choose the type. And here we can choose the genre. And we can name the session. And we can put a little description in for the session. And then we go to the next page and we can choose if we want to invite people in or any of our friends in. And then we can also have the option if we want to run the session 
without musicians being added. What will you play? Those other ones don't really matter so much unless you want the audience to know. And then we'll just choose the standard selection, select the copyright agreement. And then we're going to choose how musicians get into the session, whether it's via RSVP or they can be admitted by you or they can just join at will. But we're going to stick to RSVP. And then we can choose whether they listen in on the session. We're going to choose to not listen in. And click Next. And this is where you review your setup and confirm. And your session window opens. You have your live tracks as we have discussed and the other people will be right in the middle as we have discussed as well. Hope you have found this video interesting. Please remember to subscribe to Tech Wrangler or Cape Cod Sound School.